in the previous sections we have seen the neural network we looked at a special kind of neural network used in extracting useful information from image data and that is the convolutional neural network in the session we're going to look at different variants of this confidence that's convolutional neural networks like the rcnn fast rcnn faster rcnn and yellow algorithms which have proven to produce amazing results when it comes to object detection don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this in this section we are going to look at different key object detection algorithms which have been developed in the past decade the very first one is the rcnn algorithm supposing we have this input image and we want to do some object detection we'll start by extracting some regions where we feel like there are going to be objects found in this image so as you could see here you'll notice that we have this region which has been selected here this other region this region and this region so uh from the paper they say here about 2,000 of such regions extracted using the selective search algorithm. To better understand the selective search process, let's take this figure from geeks4geeks.org site. So here we have, for example, this input image after initial segmentation, like here. So yeah, after initial segmentation, we see we have these different segments here. You see these different color patches. And then from this color patches, we have this many bounding boxes then after a few iterations like this is the selective search process actually so after a few iterations we have this and you see now we have fewer bounding boxes and then finally we end up with something like this so you see that this process permits us to be able to know which parts of this image contain objects or to have an idea of which parts contain objects you'll notice that it may happen to select a region like this one here you see it selects this region although there's apparently or clearly no object found here but one good thing at least is you get to select the regions where they are objects so because we have this here you see this one here and this other region which is here we will now be able to make use of this in the next steps such that we could know exactly what object is found in this image and where exactly it is found and so coming back to the paper once we have a particular object like once we have, let's say, the 2,000 objects we've gotten, all the 2,000 different regions we've selected, we now pass each and every one of them into a convolutional neural network. So we've seen this already in the previous section. Here we have, obviously, the feature extractor and then the classification. So here we, we this is warped, a warped region because this convolutional neural network takes in a fixed input or an input with our fixed size so if we have the size you need to convert it into this fixed shape right here so we, once we convert this we pass this in here and then we train our model such that it could tell us whether it's an airplane a person or say a tv monitor and this classification here is done by a special machine learning algorithm like for example the svm but although back in the day this rcnn algorithm was kind of like the state of the art in terms of how performant it works in doing object detection it turns out that having to extract say 2000 different regions and passing each and every one of these into a convolutional neural network is actually very computationally expensive and so to use this kind of algorithm in a real world scenario where we have to take into consideration the speed isn't a very great idea adding to the fact that during the training process we have or we cannot actually train this full system end to end making it uh, more difficult or much more difficult to train this kind of algorithms and apart from that we need also so much memory to store this extracted features which are going to be used by the machine learning algorithm to classify the, the different regions right here so with all these disadvantages the fast rcnn algorithm was developed so here we have this first rcnn paper which was developed shortly after the rcnn and this came with major contributions like higher detection quality training in single stage using a multi-task loss training now which can update all network layers and no dig storage required for feature cache and so now we have an algorithm which can be trained even faster which takes up less memory and has or permits us achieve better detection results this increase in efficiency and 
in the quality of the detection results comes due to the fact that we modify the RCNN's initial architecture. Like for example, right here, we have the input and the different regions of interests which have been passed into a convolutional neural network and which generate this type of convolutional feature map. Just like in this 3D demo, we have these different feature maps right here. So here are our different feature maps. If we consider other selected regions, let's say we select this region here, this horses region. Let's say we pick out this region. If this was another region, which has to be passed here, we would end up with something like this. So we would end up with this here and this right here. So this is what's going to look like. It's kind of similar to what we have here. So we'll have something like this. And then this tool will be passed through this ROI pooling layer. The ROI stands for region of interest as we've seen already. So we'll pass this through the, R the region of interest pooling layer. And then from here, we'll obtain the region of interest feature vector. So we'll get this feature vector. And then we have now two branches. This first one permits us classify the given region and say what object is found in that region and this one permits us get the exact location of that object so when you see this b box here it actually stands for bounding box so we get this exact um object location with that now also note that this process here is done for each region of interest so this one will have its own process this other one here will have its own process and if we had another region let's say we had this region here would have something around this year around the top it was going to have its own feature extraction process and classification process then from here we move on to the faster rcnn where the selective search is replaced by a region proposal network that is we have a neural network that's particularly a convolutional neural network which permits us extract this feature maps directly from the input images without having to go through the selective search process now that we've looked at this different variants of the maxed rcnn algorithm which is a multi-stage object detection algorithm we are then going to move on to single stage object detection algorithms like the yolo algorithm